Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about simplifying expressions using the, what's called the FOIL method. So let's get started. So the FOIL method is used whenever you have two binomials that are being multiplied together. And a binomial will be written in parentheses as something like x plus or minus a number and then times another x plus or minus some other number. The way you can multiply those together or simplify them is using the FOIL method. F stands for multiplying the first terms together, which are going to be this term and this term. It's the first one in each binomial. O stands for the outer terms, which are basically on the ends, the beginning and end of your binomials. It's going to be this term and that term. I stands for the inner, or really the middle terms, which are going to be this one and this one, and L stands for the last term. It's the ones that are in the back end of each of your binomials. So this number and this number. When you multiply those together, once you get your answer, you want to simplify even more by finding like terms. And we'll go through a couple examples of that. So let's go ahead. So say you're given an example, x plus 4 times x plus 3, and you're asked to simplify this expression. Well, you can do that using the FOIL method. So let's look at the first terms. First terms are x and x. x times x is x squared. Next go to o, the outer terms, which are going to be x and 3. x times 3 is 3x. So positive 3x. Next you can look at the inner terms or the middle terms. You have 4 and x. Well, 4 times x is just 4x. So it's positive 4, positive 4x. And then move to L, the last terms, which are 4 and 3. 4 times 3 is 12. And it's a positive 12. So now that you have this, you want to see if you can simplify it even further by combining like terms. Like terms are ones that have the same variable and exponent. So if you have x squared, there's nothing else in this that has an x squared in it. If you look at x though, there's two terms that have an x in there. There's 3x and 4x. So we can combine those. The way you do that is you use the operation in the middle of them. Basically you have 3x's plus 4x's. So that will get you 7x's. So x squared plus 7x. And then we have 12. There's no other numbers by themselves, so we can just copy that down. And then we have our final simplified expression, x squared plus 7x plus 12. Let's try another example. 2x minus 5 times x plus 1. Again, we can use the FOIL method for this. The first terms are 2x and x. You multiply them together, you get 2x squared. The outer terms are going to be 2x and 1. 2x times 1 is just 2x. The inner terms are going to be negative 5 and x. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And then our last terms are going to be negative 5 and positive 1. Negative 5 times positive 1 is negative 5. That's why this sign is important because it changes whether you're adding or subtracting your terms. The next thing you want to do is look for like terms, combine like terms. And in this case, just like the last one, and in really all of them you do, your middle terms are going to be like. So we can combine those. We have positive 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. So 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. This is our simplified final answer. Let's try one more example. Okay. 5x minus 6 times 3x minus 2. Same idea. Use FOIL. So the first term times the first term, 5 times 3 is 15, x times x is x squared. So 15x squared. The outer terms are going to be 5x 
times a negative 2. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. And attach that x to it. The inner terms, negative 6 times positive 3x. Negative 6 times positive 3 is 18. Negative 18. And attach that x to it. And then your last terms. Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. Again, last step, see if, you can, see if you can combine like terms to further simplify your answer. Negative 10x minus 18x, those are like terms, so we can combine them. This stays the same. Negative 10 minus 18 is negative 28x and plus 12. So this is our final simplified answer of our original binomials. So I hope this helps when you get to these types of problems. Use the FOIL method. It's very nice. It's very simple. If you want more tips, more practice, more information, be sure to check out our links below. Thanks. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.